Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Paul and I'm the Lone Wolf Explorer. Just thought I'd do a video, a little introduction video to what this channel is going to be about. So it's going to be about me exploring um, and like yeah, Lone Wolf because normally on my own because nobody ever wants to do anything. People, you ask people, they're always too busy, they haven't got time and then you find that you don't go out and do stuff so I just thought, yeah, I'll just do it on my own. Feel better that way, just getting out there and just getting on with it. Um, so I thought I'd just do a little introduction video because I plan to make some videos for the channel. Um, on just adventures on what I'm doing. I'm not going to be, it's not going to be, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to start this a big YouTube channel or anything. I just thought, just, just video what I'm doing, document it on the way. And thought what better day to do it than today because today I actually went up and bought, a, I bought an eBay bargain today off, uh, off eBay I bought uh, a mountain bike because I didn't have a mountain bike and it was a bit of an impulse purchase I was thinking to myself uh, Sunday night I thought um, I wonder if I can get a bike I fancy getting a bike so I thought yeah I'll get a bike um, and what sort of bike shall I get? So I started doing some research, started looking about which one to get. Watched one on eBay, um, and the, the person actually just sent me an offer for this bike, and it was brand new. This has been ridden. He's bought it two months ago, not used it, and I thought, you know what? Yeah, just have that. Let's have, let's have that bike. So I thought I'd try and make it into a little adventure. Instead of just driving up, on the motorway, boring, get the bike, come back. I thought, I'll get the bike, because it was in Pontefract. So I thought, what I'll do is I'll drive back through the Peak District and cook some food, because I'm starving, I haven't eaten anything yet. Cook some food and maybe even take the bike for a ride. Which I should do, shouldn't I really? But I'm not going to ride it too far, because I haven't ridden a bike for a long time. I want to say a long time, I mean years. It's been years since I had a bike. I can vaguely remember the bike I owned. Um, so I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to be walking funny for the next week because my legs, I don't know what will happen, my legs will be kidding me. I'll be in agony. I feel like I've been sat on a log for a week probably as well because the seats aren't really comfortable, are they, on the bike? Until you put your own nice one on, if you can still get nice, comfortable seats these days for mountain bikes. But I'll be looking for that. Minute, I'll show you. I'll show you the bike. The, the one. Well, that's the bike that I bought. It's a specialised rock copper comp. So, I'm going to be. I'm going to be having a little ride of this. I mean, I've just literally ridden around the car park. Those tyres weren't even dirty when I got it. You can actually see the condition of it. Because this has, has, a, has a brand new bike, be a chain, a chain even. Oh, that's not going to land out on there. So yeah, I'm going to give that a little go. How far we ride, I don't know though. But what I do know is I'm starving, I haven't eaten anything, so I need to make some food.
first things first is a cup of tea. I need to make a cup of tea first before I do this. A cup of tea. Definitely almost needed. It's a bit windy here today. Really with me today. Really windy. I was parked over there. I moved because it was that windy. I couldn't even. My chair was blown over. And I seen this bench was here. Somebody else was parked here. They moved, and I thought, right, oh, I'm, I'm going to bag this little spot. Oh, okay. I'm not going to make a cup of tea with that, am I? Oh. That's my, my emergency food supply. That's the one I wanted. back. Aeropress go for the coffee. I've had a coffee today so I do have a cool bit of kick called a Kelly Cat here. It's a brilliant. I'm going to need a plate for now. I don't have one of those muff things that people use. I just have my iPhone and a mount. I wasn't planning on starting a professional YouTube channel. I just thought, let's just document some of my journeys and what to do. I can start here. This can be the first one. Day though, the weather's gorgeous. Nearly there. It's not as quick as it normally is, it must be the wind. It's normally done by now. These jet balls are brilliant, by the way. Love these. Best thing I've ever bought for anything outdoorsy. Best thing ever. That, that thing, the pot support. Amazing. 
It turns into a cooker, a little cooker. Well, it's not really jet boiling today, is it? Even though it's warm in the sun, it's actually pretty cold with the wind. I always keep one of those as well, tucked in there because the amount of times I've forgotten a lighter. Cast iron pan. Designated rubbish bag in there. Go and get the milk. I had to move it to the back of the car. The wind was up bad. It wasn't. It wasn't um, getting hot enough to cook. And I even sort of sat huddled around it trying to stop the wind. So I think I need to invest in um, one of those little wind brakes, which I'd never really thought about before because. You don't really need it when you're using the jet boil and you're, when you're actually using the, the, this part. When you're using this part to boil your water, well this little this little contraption inside here, heat exchange I think it's called, uh, that works wonders. I mean that water boiled a bit slower than normal but it did boil up. Um, but if you look, not support, you haven't got any of that, so it's just wind just blowing straight in there. And it was literally just blowing that that flame and it was just killing it. It didn't go out, but it was killing it, and then there's nothing happening. It was just sitting there raw. And I'm so I'm still going to sit there waiting for raw bacon to cook. So I'll put it in here. So that should be done hopefully soon, and I'll stick an egg on some bread. <coughs> and then I'll have a sandwich. Even my tea was going cold. Even my tea was going cold. I had to quickly make it because it was going cold. That's more like it, isn't it? Get in there now. That's what we want to see. That's, that's definitely what we want to see. Did the bacon first. So I didn't bring any oil with me. So with all the little bits of bits of fat that's coming off the bacon, there should be enough in there then to cook an egg. 
that's the theory. Yeah, I didn't really plan this trip um, at all. I didn't plan it. I didn't plan any of it. It was it was last night. Uh, I got sent an offer on the bike. I purchased the bike, and then the chap said, "When do you want to come and pick it up?" And I said, "I'll come and get it tomorrow." Yeah, as I was saying, it was a bit of an unplanned trip. So I'm going to try and get in the boot a little bit because the wind's really, really bad. I'm just about to crack an egg in there. Just about to pop an egg in there and get my sandwich ready. But yeah, it was an unplanned trip, and I just, I just literally just said, "Yeah, I'll come in the morning and get the bike." And I looked on the map, seeing where it was, seeing the Petri ship was kind of on the way, and I thought, you know what? Let's go and explore. Well, maybe, maybe not explore is probably not the probably not the right word. Let's just go to the Peak District. Let's just drive through, cook some food, ride my bike around the trail, um, and then go home. I think. I think I'm going to go home. I was thinking about staying somewhere. But normally, I sleep in the car, did a bit of car camping, but I can't because I've got the bike in here. I did look at some campsites, tried to phone one, one answer, tried to phone another one, no answer. Thought oh, I could just roll up and they might not let me stay. And they're all sort of motorhome and caravan, most of them. And I just got, I've got a tent in my backpack. And I just thought, no, oh, it's not meant to be, is it? Maybe I'm not meant to do this tonight. Maybe I'm just meant to go home. So I'm going to make this, go for a ride and go home. Finished result. I've got my sandwich, bacon and egg. So I'm going to tuck into that now. My tea's gone because it was going cold. I had to quickly drink that. But yeah, I'm going to eat this and then get off and go for a short little ride. So how did the bike ride go on the new bike? Well, you can probably tell. Yeah, I'm a lot more. I'm a lot un unfit, a lot less unfit. I can't even get my words out. I'm not very fit, put it that way. I thought I'd be able to cope with it a bit better than that. Because anyway, I used to be super fit. But yeah, since COVID and that, and locked me down, gyms closed, fitness level plummeted, but I didn't realise it was that bad. Flipping out, I feel like I've just tried to climb a mountain. Yeah, I even had to get up and push it all one bit. Yeah, I'm actually at Mam Tor. Those of you that know it, it's probably going to go, what the hell are you thinking? No idea. Never been here before. I don't know, I just pulled into the car park and there it was. And apparently it's uh, a bit of a, a bit of a tourist spot where people go and hike and one chap said people go mountain biking here. Yeah, I'm probably going to need a year's worth of um, <laughs> training just to be able to go up there. Coming down, it was all right. Well, it was pretty quick. No helmet either, but I did put a helmet on. Because I thought, oh, I'm just going to tootle up there. I don't know. In my mind, I just thought, tootle up there. Tootle back down again. Nice little gentle ride. No, I'll stick to some flat bits first. I think I just need to stick to some flat bits. Do a gentle ride. Build some fitness levels up before I even consider doing anything else. I can see now why my mate put an e-bike e kit on his mountain bike and said to me yesterday, wouldn't you have one of them when you'll never go back? I know what he means now. I was kind of thinking that, I wish I had that help. Because I, ro I rode his, it was so easy. He had forgotten how hard it was to ride a bike. They make it look easy on YouTube, don't they? I watched some mountain biking videos last night. <laughs> watched all these guys doing it. Yeah, they're obviously 20 years younger than me, like, but I'm sure there's people my age doing it that are fit as, fit as anything. And yeah, they made it look easy, you know? And I thought, oh, that can't be too bad, can it? It wasn't that hard when I last did it 20 years ago. So there you go. No hiking, I'm not doing anything, I'm going home. I've had enough. This lone wolf is knackered. <laughs> I'm a knackered, knackered old lone wolf. Had to put me down, I think. Right, on that, uh, on that, uh, on that note, I'm going to sign off have a drink and I'm going to drive home. I'm going to take a nice scenic drive through the Peak District. That's my exploration for the day done, I think. That's me done. Yeah. See you later, guys. I'm taking a nice leisurely drive through the Peak District and I'm wondering why I've hit a traffic jam.
thinking a traffic jam in the Peak District really this can't be a thing I don't know if you can see in the distance uh, the traffic jam it's a herd of sheep probably can't see it it's probably too far away all those bikes overtook me <clears throat> and then I wonder why they were still sat there and I could see all the sheep so yeah but check out the view doesn't look as good on camera though I can see that through the lens but yeah that's beautiful this is why I decided to go this way there you go sheep jump